These cool mornings make it hot cereal season in my house. And you know, a lot of times I would add some cinnamon to my oatmeal in the morning, maybe some chopped apples, because in the fall, we all think apples and cinnamon, right? But how about coconut and ginger? Oh my gosh, does that make an awesome bowl of hot oatmeal. And I'll show you how easy it is. First of all, I've got one can of coconut milk, and I'm going to put that into my pot. And I'm going to add two cups of water. And I'll mix it up a little bit. The water. The thing about using coconut milk is not only does it add a little bit of sweetness to the oatmeal, but it makes it so creamy. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil over high heat. And once it comes to a boil, I'm going to add steel cut oats. Now you can't use old fashioned oats for this one because you'll have way too much liquid. But the steel cut oats added to this, cook it 20 to 30 minutes until it reaches the creaminess that you like. And then I'll be adding some ground ginger. Now I start with a quarter teaspoon, but you can go to a half a teaspoon if you really like ginger. I like half teaspoon, but start with a little. You can always add more and a little bit of salt, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And once I add it to my boiling liquid, I'll turn down the heat, let it simmer for 20 to 30 minutes with the top off, stir it occasionally, and then it's ready to go. And it will look something like this. Now the other thing I've discovered about this oatmeal, I'm gonna put some in a bowl here so you can see how creamy it is, is that if I have a little bit too much in my pot, I can refrigerate it. Just put it in a covered container in the refrigerator and it will get really thick in the refrigerator. So when you go to heat it up, just add a little bit more liquid. A little bit of water does the trick or a little bit of milk if you wanna add that. And what I love with this coconut ginger oatmeal is to put some sliced bananas over the top and then you know how much I love honey. So I like to drizzle a little bit of honey over the bananas. And there you have a wonderful, satisfying, sweet, nutty, and a little bit chewy bowl of hot oatmeal on a chilly morning. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.